Wall Street Journal said was the luckiest ex-Enron employee. He uh, isn't sitting in jail like a lot of his buddies are because he left before all that happened. Took millions of dollars with him, bought one of the biggest pipeline companies in the world, bought up pipelines including the one that comes right into Burnaby. That most people, the first time they even heard about it was when it burst in 2007. And I can tell you we went and knocked on doors right before we did a rally in that neighborhood to many of the people who literally had oil spilling in their backyard. You've heard of Not In My Backyard, they literally had an oil spill in their backyard. And many of those people didn't know Kinder Morgan had already increased the size of that pipeline the year after that oil spill. Can everybody here say shame? Shame! Wow, that was fun, thanks. So Kinder Morgan has a plan, and they're planning to announce the details of it this week. They said by the end of March they're going to bring their proposal to the National Energy Board. And what they want to do is increase their pipeline from 300,000 barrels a day up to six or maybe even 700,000 barrels a day. Can everybody here say shame? Yeah! Is anybody here in favor of that project? No! Wow, this is really fun. So, you know, the, the thing that you got to do is tell every single person you know about this. Because Kinder Morgan has been trying to do this as quietly as possible. They don't want anybody to know what they're planning to do because they know that you don't support it. They've seen the opposition to Keystone. They've seen the opposition to Enbridge. And they know that they've got an existing tanker shipping route. They've got an existing pipeline. And they think they're going to be the only act left in town when everybody says no to these other projects. So we have to stand together to say no to all of these projects. So, I think I'm at the end of my time, so I'm just going to say one thing. There's this amazing group of high school students that are here. They call themselves the Youth for Climate Justice Now. Are you guys out there somewhere? Woo! Youth for Climate Justice Now, hold up your, your uh, petition really high. Everybody see Angela there? There's a petition in her hand supporting the Save the Fraser Declaration, this historic declaration to oppose oil tanker traffic. We got more copies of it over at the tent over there. We need as many signatures on that petition as possible. They're organizing a big parade on Earth Day this year on Commercial Drive. It's going to end in Grandview Park, and I want to invite you all to come to be at that event as well. That'll be our next big event in the opposition to the Kinder Morgan Pipeline. And together, all of us can stop all of these pipelines, and we can move on to a better, sustainable future for everybody. Thank you all so much for being here. Great, thanks, everyone. I'd like to introduce Jim Britton from the CEP Union.